Alina. And I'm Layla. Welcome back to our channel, Elementary My Dear. Where we make nutrition science easy for you to digest. Today we're going to be talking about sorrel. Oh, it's a little holiday theme. We're making sorrel, which is typically consumed around like Christmas drink in the motherland, my half motherland, Jamaica. <laughs> we're going to get into the health benefits of it. We're going to make the Christmas drink. I'm really excited. I've never tried it. You've had it. I've, I've had, had it a bunch of times. I'm going to say like normally because it's Christmas, very, very, very boozy. How would you describe the flavor? Definitely it's like sour tangy, but also it has a lot of like spices and stuff in it. It is a type of hibiscus plant native to Africa, West Africa. Now is incorporated in a lot of cooking throughout West Africa, Asia, Latin America, and the Caribbean. My partner, his step family is Trinidadian. His step grandmother has made this drink yeah. for them. And he was really excited that we we're making okay. this like multiple times. He's like, make enough for me, like save some for me. What's interesting is that like, there's like a little bit of a rivalry between like all the islands, but like Trinidad and Jamaica, Jamaican's love ginger they put it in everything and Trinidadians from what I understand don't and it's kind of like why are you putting ginger and stuff it's like why are you not putting ginger and stuff you need to like measure out the water exactly no this is this is Jamaican cooking there's no such thing as measuring you just measure with your heart Is measuring out the sugar. We have our sorrel. We have our sorrel. Was it super traditionally made? Absolutely not. It's I, beautiful. It's very beautiful. So, Should we talk about the nutritional value of I, sorrel? The thing that really stands out is it's a really, really bright pigment and how it's like this beautiful, like purpley, pinky fuchsia color. You always hear like, eat the rainbow, eat the rainbow. That's how you get all your nutrients in. With sorrel, that bright pigment comes from something called anthocyanin. And anthocyanins are an antioxidant. And we have a whole other video on what antioxidants are, but it's basically substances that help fight oxidative stress. Oxidative stress occurs from our natural metabolic processes, and it's also just a normal part of aging. But when you have that imbalance of oxidative stress and antioxidants, that is linked to chronic conditions like heart disease and cancer. Getting more antioxidants in is good for balancing out that equation of oxidative stress to antioxidants. Oxidant. Sorrel, really, really great way to do that. Also contains a good amount of vitamin C as well. However, as we always say, whenever we talk about vitamin C, it's really, really, really heat volatile. So cooking it, probably you're losing a lot of that antioxidant effect. There's some research on sorrel and its effects on acting as an antihypertensive, so basically lowering blood pressure. Which is really interesting because in traditional medicine, it has been used for that purpose for a very, very long time. So it's interesting to see that there is actually some scientific research research going into that area. At certain doses, it can actually help dilate your blood vessels, which is how it helps lower your blood pressure. This has been seen in both human and animal trials. Although the research is quite limited, there is enough to say it's promising. However, if you are concerned about your blood pressure, make sure you are working with a doctor for an appropriate course of treatment for your case. Should we try it? Yes, we should. Imagine you have the nice Jamaican sunshine shining on you. It's like raining, raining, or raining or snowing over, right now. overcast, <laughs> foggy. I'm there. Yep. Nice. It's really nice. Traditionally, there is rum involved, there is sugar involved. It's all delicious drink, love it for the holidays, love it. You know, honestly, people often drink it even not during the holidays, but we talked about its health benefits. And I think something to keep in mind is that the sorrel, the drink, is not just the hibiscus plant. It's also all the spices, which are great, but also sugar and alcohol. Given what we know about the effects of sugar and the effects of alcohol on health, they might actually counteract those effects that we're seeing. And also just to highlight again, when you're cooking, you do really reduce that antioxidant act. Activity. So if you are looking to use sorrel potentially for its health benefits, you'd probably be better off like steeping it cold. And doing it overnight, like overnight. for a longer period of time. Yeah, well, that's what you're supposed to do. On that note, happy holidays. Happy Cheers. holidays. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Bye.